Un quicio. The President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. As scheduled, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of Mr. Hedder. Questions continue to be put Hedder, by the prosecution. Mr. Sakovati is now directed Sakovati to report to the chamber regarding the current status of the parties parties. to the proceedings today. Mr. Sakovati. Good morning, Mr. Greffe. President and Your Honours. All parties to the proceedings are present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. Except uh, Mr. Nunchia, who is present, Nunchia but in his présent, holding cell due to the ruling by the trial chamber due to his health concerns. Today, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of Mr. Heather, and uh, Mr. Heather is right in the courtroom, and we do not have a reserved dans le witness for today. Il a pas de the de President, thank you, Mr. Sakovati. Without further ado, we would like to now hand over attendre, to the prosecution to continue putting questions to Mr. Heather. Qui pourra continuer à interroger Monsieur Heder. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President. Your Honours, may it please you. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs. Good morning to my juge. fellow counsel. Bonjour, chers confrères. And good morning again to you, Mr. Heder. Et à nouveau, bonjour à vous, Monsieur Heder. I'd like to start, please, by asking some clarification questions. Tout quelques questions visant à obtenir des précisions. In relation to your testimony towards the end of yesterday. Sur ce que vous avez dit hier en fin d'après-midi. You will recall that you confirmed an extract Vous avez from E3-1714 in relation to the refugee interviews in 1980 en and reference to the interviewee Logne, en also known as Law, the passage of drying up the people from the enemy Il y avait un passage being part sur le of a long standing plan and that being the relevant slogan. Vieux plan avec un slogan In relation to that, you said that you'd heard it from many Vous people avez dit avoir entendu over cette expression many years dans la bouche de beaucoup de gens and that you'd heard années. it before April 1975 on radio avant broadcasts. Avril 75 à la radio. And it's the radio broadcasts I'd like to ask some further Et questions about. précisément vous interroger plus avant sur ces émissions Can you help on what, in what context this phrase dry up the people from the enemy was being broadcast what I mean by that is what diffusé. was the subject matter Autrement what was the context le de in which this phrase Dans was being used cette expression a-t-elle été utilisée um, it, it refers to a situation in which there was contestation for control à une situation and où plusieurs parties sont aux prises loyalty of population. pour contrôler la population et obtenir and, sa loyauté. And the notion was Il faut absolument que le témoin se rapproche un petit peu du micro, on l'entend très mal. L'idée, c'était de le faire par moyen politique ou militaire. La proportion de la population contrôlée par l'ennemi du point de vue des Khmer Rouges devait être réduite. Dans la pratique, il fallait transférer cette population depuis les zones tenues par l'ennemi, pour reprendre les termes Khmer Rouges, vers les zones libérées et contrôlées par les Khmer Rouges. Routinely put it from areas temporarily controlled by the enemy à l'époque, il disait qu'il s'agissait des zones temporairement contrôlées par l'ennemi qu'il fallait libérer. Dans la propagande de la République mère, c'était présenté comme quelque chose de volontaire. Dans la propagande Khmer Rouge, ce que je l'interprète, les gens étaient encouragés à fuir les zones temporairement contrôlées par l'ennemi pour gagner les zones libérées. Tant avant qu'après avril 1975, j'ai recueilli des interviews 
Quand je dis après 75, c'est surtout à compter de fin 78 et dans les années 80. Et ça, c'était associé au terme habituellement traduit comme évacuation. Et au moins dans certains de ces interviews, d'après mes souvenirs, les gens disaient clairement qu'on pouvait le faire par la force, sous la contrainte. Donc des gens pouvaient être convaincus politiquement de quitter les zones tenues par l'ennemi pour gagner les zones libérées, ou bien cela pouvait faire référence à une situation de contrôle militaire d'une portion de territoire et donc, les gens étaient transférés vers la zone libérée en utilisant ce terme d'évacuation. Le président, Monsieur Heder, vous êtes ici chamber déposer. And uh, with that, en tant que témoin, when you address your responses to the co-prosecutor, it would be more appropriate if you can just turn a little bit. Je vous prierai uh, de bien vouloir so that, uh, you are not vous tourner to the chamber, quelque please. peu vers l'avant, puisque I want to vous ask adressez à la chambre. Question. J'aimerais vous interroger sur un incident dont vous avez eu des informations directement en Dong et Kampong Cham. Vous dites qu'en 1973, concernant l'évacuation de Kampong Cham, est-ce que les informations que vous receviez des gens interviewés concordaient pour dire que c'était une évacuation forcée ou volontaire um, Réponse. J'essaie de me remémorer um, elements of il y avait un peu des deux. Je ne suis arrivé qu'après les événements. Pas juste après, comme avec Udong. D'après mes souvenirs, des gens ont dit avoir été transférés par la force, où on dit que d'autres avaient été transférés par la force. Certains étaient parvenus à rentrer, tandis que d'autres disaient non pas que ça avait été volontaire, mais qu'ils avaient été prêts à s'en aller, vu les circonstances de l'époque. Certains étaient des déplacés interne, comme on dirait aujourd'hui. Ils arrivaient autour de la ville de Kampong Cham pour différentes raisons. Ces gens étaient prêts à retourner à leur lieu d'origine, mais d'après mes souvenirs, pour l'essentiel, c'était quelque chose qui était fait sous la contrainte. Question. Même question pour Udon, quand vous y étiez le 19 mars 1974. S'agissait-il d'un déplacement volontaire ou forcé um, Réponse. My, uh, head, à chaud, mes souvenirs sont moins clairs là-dessus. Je pense n'y être allé qu'un jour ou deux. Je n'ai pas fait de nombreuses interviews. Je pense que les gens ont été évacués vers l'ouest, mais quant aux détails, soit je n'en ai pas obtenu, soit je ne m'en souviens pas. Faute de pouvoir But vérifier. Of Udong, you Question. Said, uh, yesterday Et pour Udong, that Udong was hier, deserted. vous avez dit que la Can ville avait été désertée. Pourriez-vous préciser ce tableau 
quand vous parlez d'une désertion de la ville la réponse. En arrivant à Udon, j'ai vu que la ville était déserte. Il y avait quelques personnes qui avaient réussi à ne pas évacuer la ville. J'ai pu leur parler brièvement, mais à part ces gens, il n'y avait personne. Je suis allé à la Padogne, là j'ai vu les corps des bronzes, il n'y avait plus de moines, il n'y avait que des cadavres, il n'y avait pas âme qui vive, d'après mes souvenirs. Tant la ville que la pagode était vide. Bon. My question final question yesterday hier was about the evacuation ma dernière question posait, portait sur l'évacuation de Phnom Penh. And we dealt with, if you remember, Pond's notebook. Nous avons parlé du calepin de Pond. Can I ask you please, with your folders? I don't know where they are. I'm sorry, they're, they've not been given back. Mr. President, can I please rendus, Monsieur le Président, give Mr. Head of the folders which we've had in safe custody overnight? Puis-je remettre à Monsieur Eder les classeurs que nous avons conservés depuis hier? The President, as you may proceed, and court officer is directed to bring these documents to the Monsieur d'audience, veuillez remettre ce document au témoin. Mr. Hedder, can I ask you please to look at file four? Prenez, s'il vous plaît, Tab le classeur one. 4, l'onglet numéro 1. You should have, I hope, reassessing, as I call it in its short form. Can you confirm that? Vous devrez avoir yeah. sous les yeux le document que j'appellerai de I'd façon like abrégée reassessing, page 6. Page 6. And it's the section leading to footnote. Avant la note de bas de page numéro 17. This is to remind everyone E190.1.398. And can I ask please that all references today when I give a document are shown on the screen. Je prierai de faire systématiquement afficher les références à l'écran à chaque fois que je citerai un extrait. Also to be abolished into the worker peasants as part of this uprooting socialist revolution were members of what the official CPK class analysis designated separate or special class types that did not fit neatly into its broader class scheme of feudalists, bourgeoisie, petty bourgeoisie, peasants and workers. In addition to intellectuals, these other class types included Republican soldiers and police, Buddhist monks and all nationalities, Brackets, Chunchit, i.e. national minority. Chunchit, ou minorité nationale. Footnote 17 then references. Note de bas de page 17. Two DK cadre notebooks. And references are given from the DC CAM collection of KNH 0010 and KNH 071. So again, can I ask please something about these DK CADA notebooks when you first saw them? And um, again, just a little bit more detail. Réponse. À nouveau, 
Cela remonte à la période antérieure à la mise en place du système de catalogue du DCCAM. Le centre avait un assez grand nombre de carnets. Le plus souvent des manuels scolaires de l'ancienne société, et d'après le style et le contenu, j'ai pensé que c'était des carnets de notes de cadre du BCK. Ils avaient pris des notes sur les réunions auxquelles ils avaient participé, sur les documents d'études du parti qu'ils avaient reçus, comme la jeunesse révolutionnaire ou l'étendard révolutionnaire. Et le DCK leur avait donné des codes de référence provisoires que j'ai cités. Donc, dans ces Carnet, je suis parti à la recherche d'éléments intéressants et la teneur du texte provient d'un carnet qui se trouvait dans cette collection. Le témoin proba est trop loin du micro, c'est extrêmement difficile de faire un travail correct. Dernier avertissement. Monsieur Heder, je pense qu'il y a une request que vous êtes un peu plus près du microphone, si possible. Next, I'd like to move to a document that's not in your folders. Je passe un document qui n'est pas dans votre This is document E3-387. And can I please hand you a copy of this document? This is an interview that you confirmed on the first day of evidence that you had, had with this person. Jour. I don't want you to name him. Avec I'm not going to name him. Personne. But for everyone's benefit, TCW-494. Je vais remettre le compte-rendu de cette interview avec cette personne. Le Président, je vous en prie, huissier d'audience, veuillez remettre un exemplaire papier du document à ce témoin. Is your memory refreshed by looking at the first Question. page? Est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire de pouvoir consulter la première page? It's a transcript again of this. C'est une transcription à nouveau. Can I start by taking you to your page four? Premièrement, votre page numéro quatre. This is English ERN. En anglais. Zero zero three five zero zero two zero two zero three. French 00441416 and Khmer 00379483. If we look at page four on yours, Mr. Header, about two thirds down the page, there's a sentence beginning in July 1975. I went to liberate. Do you have that? I'm now going to read it in full. Uh, in July 1975, I went to liberate the whole territory, and I was assigned a new task, serving as Deputy Secretary of Sector 21 and Head of the Sector 21 Committee in charge of Economics, Administration, Education and Organization. Again, can you confirm that that's an accurate recording of what was said to you in this interview? Ce n'est pas ma traduction, mais bien celle du tribunal. Hormis cela, je confirme. Page suivante, page 5, en anglais, 0035 0034 et 85-85. Now let's go to the second period, starting from 1973 to the 18th of April 1975. During this period, Pol Pot reformed his policy. In reforming the policy, I noticed as follows. The first thing was that they raised class issues and class struggle in the society. They mentioned five classes, such as workers, farmers, petty bourgeoisie, 
feudalists, les feudaux and capitalists. et les capitalistes. Among the five classes, they valued only worker and farmer class, while other classes were totally ignored and oppressed. Even middle class farmers, upper class farmers, petty bourgeoisie, monks, intellectuals were entirely oppressed. We also noticed their dictatorship issues and their peasant class. Is that an accurate uh, recording or reflection of what was said in this interview? Est-ce que cela est fidèle à ce qu'on vous a dit? Réponse. Again, with the caveat that this is not my translation, I would say generally yes. Je dirais que dans l'ensemble, c'est le cas. Somewhat troubled by the use of the word oppressed. Par l'emploi du terme d'oppression, uh, avant de pouvoir the, the, the confirmer the le like sens the, the de ce mot, j'aimerais pouvoir savoir quel est le mot en Khmer. Pour moi, Could ça ne correct, colle pas vraiment. C'est peut-être so, correct, mais ça me semble un peu bizarre. Caveat, yes. Moyennant cette réserve, uh, uh, l'accusation, <laughs> nous avons une version... Du texte en Perhaps Khmer. if I can move on, and then we'll come back to, uh, to this point. Entre temps, je vais continuer. Not boxed. Can we go to the bottom of page five? Passons au bas de la page cinq. Same. ERNs. Même ERN. The four want six lines up from the bottom. <coughs> this extract. Just setting the time, really. It's it, it's talking. The extract, and we in fact get the date two lines from the bottom. On la date from 1973 la onwards, they had conflict with Vietnam. So the person is talking about 1973. Can we go over your page, which is on page 6? English 00350205. Khmer 00379485 through 6. And French 00441418. Français, 0044, 14, 18. Top of the page. En haut. So they were concerned about the remaining forces doing other activities. This time they mainly used security position. And it was the security position which was relevant to class struggle and class dictatorship issues. This is what I would like to describe briefly. We noticed another point when monks and pagodas were gradually eliminated. Prisoners of war and defectors had previously been told that they were allowed to live in certain ways. This time, prisoners of war and Les defectors of Lon Nol were wiped out. Belief and religion for both Cambodians and other ethnics were prohibited. Buddhism and Khmer superstition were prohibited as well. Again, can you confirm that that uh, is an accurate reflection of what you were told in this interview? Um, yes, but again with the same oui, reservation. Mais avec la même like réserve. See, I see. I can see. I can see the Khmer here, uh, but it would be easier if I had a hard copy. To Je peux voir the hard, le the hard copy is coming now, Mr. President. Can I please hand papier. a hard copy of the Khmer version? J'aimerais remettre un témoin un exemplaire papier de la version du texte en Khmer. Le président, allez-y. Mr. Hedder, I'm going to go back to the first oppressed, because that was the first word you mentioned. The Khmer page, and these are in the top left hand, in dark, bold type, the ERN numbers. It's um, 
Oppressed, en haut à gauche, I think you'll find dans le texte at the de very Mer, top of Khmer page 0037-9485. À la page 0037-9485 en Khmer. The sentence was um, even middle class farmers, Même upper class paysans, farmers, petty bourgeoisie, monks, intellectuals were entirely oppressed. De classe in the official court translation. Les petits bourgeois, les moines, les intellectuels ont été complètement opprimés d'après la traduction faite ici au tribunal. English ERN 0035 page 5. Page 5. Um, the, the, the nuance here Ici, is that il y a une nuance. Um, one might, one could possibly misread the English translation on pourrait mal as meaning that la these traduction anglaise, classes, comme voulant dire, classes mentioned que les classes uh, were ici, to be oppressed by the Khmer Rouge. Par les Khmer Rouge. It's, it's in, in fact saying en that réalité, they were among on dit the classes who were oppressed by the exploiting classes of the old society. Par les classes exploiteuses de And the société. second part Question. The sentence I was interested in, this is Deuxième on partie, English page 6, en anglais, page 6. Khmer page 0037-9485, and it's towards the bottom of that page. Vers le bas de cette page. And the phrase I was interested in in terms of qui translation, du point de vue or de la this time prisoners of war and defectors of Lon Nol were wiped et les out. Um, yes, um, this is a phrase which I conventionally translate as swept cleanly away. Oui, c'est une phrase que j'avais l'habitude de traduire euh, par many of us are familiar with. balayer proprement. Um, Accusation, merci, c'est une phrase que nous connaissons. Can I take you back to the English now, but have the Khmer to nous hand. Nous allons revenir à la version anglaise, mais veuillez garder la version Khmer sous la main. It's in the middle of page 6, this is in, Au well I've already given the R N. So. Uh, we were ordered to fight at 1 a.m. On the 31st of December, it says 1974, but can you check the Khmer as to whether it's, yes, 31st of December 1974. And the war had to be over on the 30th of June 1975. So they held a meeting to realize attacks on every battlefield. At that time, did they succeed? Generally speaking, Gunfire was broken out on all battlefields on the 1st of January 1975 at 1 a.m. as planned. Again, can you confirm that that's uh, an accurate reflection of what you were told in this interview? Pouvez-vous nous dire si cela reflète bien ce qu'on vous a dit lors de cette audition? Yes. Réponse: Oui. Still on the same page, still the same ERNs. During the attacks, Pol Pot estimated that victory would be achieved in February 1975, and he disseminated the information down to all districts and sectors 
He ordered all districts and sectors to build houses for people to be evacuated from Phnom Penh or provincial towns to countryside. During that time, they announced that Phnom Penh dwellers were to be evacuated. So in February 1975, they disseminated the information to all districts and sectors to be housed, uh, to build houses for those soon to be come deportees. And I'll carry on because the next bit is also relevant. Nearly two months later, the country was liberated. In, no, I'm going to pause there. Can you confirm that that's an, uh, an accurate description of what you were told? décrit bien ce qu'on vous a raconté. Yes. Réponse, oui. I'm moving on to another general subject now. I'd like you to put that statement to one side, but we are coming back to it later on. The topic is command and authority structure. File 4. Tab three. À l'anglais numéro trois. You should have one page. Is that correct? Vous devez avoir une page. E number E one three one. La cote stroke one. Stroke thirteen point three. This is an extract from your book. Un extrait. Entitled. De votre livre. Racism. Marxism, labeling and genocide racism, in Ben Kiernan's The Pol Pot Regime. And in you should have page 32 in bold at the top. À la page 32. It's talking about the concept of party center. On and you state that it was inherited by the CPK from the Chinese and Vietnamese uh, communists. And the footnote 48 states, in Chinese and Vietnamese communist parlance, center refers to the highest leading structures of party organizations and of the country's political authority in the state sphere, including the party central committee and its various departments, the central government and other administrative bodies at the central echelon. You then refer in footnote 48, and I can't pronounce them, but you refer to a 1971 document in Beijing, a Hanoi University Press document from 1986, and a Hanoi document from 1978. Can you confirm that you read those documents and that they were your source? Yes. Mr. Heder, in, in the documents that you have looked at, in Chinese, Dans Vietnamese, and Cambodian. Have you ever encountered the term party center as the party central committee? Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. Um, Réponse. The, 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 I think the answer to that is that yes, it, but only in the sense that the party central oui, committee is one of a number of bodies that could be described 
or could be referred to by this phrase, the center. The center refers to a level centre, within the party hierarchy or structure and not necessarily to any specific party, body at that level, either all of them or some of them or échelon. one of them. So the phrase in and of itself, party center, uh, is somewhat ambiguous. Thank you. File 4, tab 4, so Merci. your existing file, tab 4, document number E348, seven candidates. Can you please go to page 46? Uh, when I say page 46, you don't have the whole of the document, but if you look at the pages that you do have, they are paged in the top of the document. Do you have the page 46? Thank you. It's reference to the statutes, and you say this. The statutes declared that the Central Committee's duties included implementation of the party's lines throughout the country, giving instructions to all its subordinate zone, sector and municipal organisations and to the party organs taking responsibility for various nationwide departments and administering and deploying cadre and party members within the party as a whole, while maintaining a clear and constant grasp on their biographies and political, ideological and organisational stances and constantly educating and indoctrinating them in terms of politics, ideology and organisation. We know the document very well. It has case uh, E3 number E3-214. Mr. Prosecutor, please hold on. Uh, Council Victor Coupe, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Good morning, Coupé. Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, we're reaching now uh, a topic of questioning uh, in which uh, we would require a ruling from the Chamber. Là, nous um, à un sujet I have not an objection to the way of sur the phrasing of the question in particular. Um, se Je ne prononce pas à la formulation de la question. La question fait référence à la question qui est versée au dossier. Uh, uh, L'accusation, uh, je about présume, the source, um, va demander uh, in the aux témoins quelle était sa source. However, this book is called Seven Candidates for Prosecution. And obviously, it has been written with a certain purpose in mind. Seven candidates for um, prosecution et a donc maybe été the witness at one point will elaborate on the why, on, on the reasons why he wrote this book. But obviously, the title of the book itself, Seven Candidates for Prosecution, suggests that the book was written with the intent to uh, present uh, evidence in relation to not only uh, Hussein Pan, but also our client. Um, uh, so, we have now here a situation that we have a witness who has an extensive role, uh, who played an extensive role in the investigation, now being asked questions about the book, which is in essence uh, 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 a plaidoyer for prosecuting and ultimately convicting uh, our client. So, although not objecting in a technical sense as to the way questions were phrased. I do object uh, that we now get into a situation that this witness is basically um, talking about this book, why these people, uh, including our clients, should be prosecuted. So I would like to have a ruling um, of your chamber as to the, the lawfulness so to speak, uh, or in respect of questions to this witness about this specific la legalité de poser des questions à ce témoin concernant ce livre précis. Mr. President, Your Honours, can I make it plain? Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, as I hope I did yesterday, 
that I will not be asking Mr. Heder any opinions based on this book. This book has been admitted in evidence. Objections were submitted and ruled upon. It is on the case file. It has, has an E3 number. number. It is therefore, on the face of it, relevant and reliable. There may be a need for a ruling if I was stressing opinion. I'm not. I'm continuing the practice that I have now undertaken for a day and an hour in accordance with the trial chamber's direction of reading statements from books and asking questions about sources. That will continue to be my practice throughout this examination, and I ask, please, to proceed in the manner that I have already been conducting my examination. Can I add, I've not even asked the question Et yet. J'aimerais rajouter que je n'ai encore même pas pu poser la question. The President, I hand over the floor to Judge uh, Silver Cartwright uh, to clarify the ruling of the Chamber concerning the objection by the defense team for Mr. Nunchia in relation to the uh, questioning uh, by the prosecutor based on uh, the books and statements. Uh, Le, judge, you may proceed. Thank you, President. <coughs> the Chamber has Juge decided Cartwright, that Monsieur the Monsieur objection is not sustained. Uh, first, the book, <coughs> me, the book is on the case file and has been assigned an E3 number. Uh, and secondly, if the Deuxièmement, objection is to the probative value si of the book, then that is a matter for the Chamber livre, ultimately to determine. Thank la you, President. Qui devra, uh, se une question qui relève de la chambre. How many versions are you aware of of these statutes? Vous, combien de versions de ces statuts existaient-ils? Um, Réponse. I have a couple of originals, or what I believe are originals. Je dispose de quelques possession. exemplaires originaux ou ce qui semble être des originaux en ma position, ainsi que quelques copies, j'ai toujours présumé qu'il s'agissait well. du même document. Some originals Je sais également que le DCCAM détient quelques originaux et ou des copies dans leurs archives. Il existe d'autres originaux et copies ici ou ailleurs. Je pense que David Chandler doit en avoir un et 
d'autres personnes et on étudie la question is, are there qui doivent devenir des uh, exemplaires. So, uh, I, en fait, I, I si vous me demandez s'il y a des versions alternatives, uh, je n'en ai pas connaissance. Uh, and based on your factual question. research, not opinion, not speculation, when were these statutes adopted? Ou, uh, vos hypothèses, à quel moment ces statuts ont-ils été adoptés? Um, réponse. I'm sure I've been told somewhere along the line in interviews that it was January 1976. And I'm pretty sure there's also reference to that fact in revolutionary flag or revolutionary youth, revolutionary youth from around this period. Do you remember when we were... Um, you were giving evidence in Cambodian communism about the 1960 Congress and adoption of statutes. Can you uh, confirm that statutes were featuring in 1960? Uh, yes, presuming we can believe what Pol Pot, Nguyen and others have said, they themselves have said as much. File 4, tab 1. Dans le classeur 4, à l'onglet numéro 1. Page 12. Page 12. English ERN 00661466. Page 12. Khmer 00 830775 French 00792925 It's in reference if, if it helps everyone to footnote 64 uh, Sorry I should say reassessing in its short form E190 Point one, point three nine eight. To a great extent, however, the, liquid, the linkage between the centre and the districts was mediated via zones and sectors. Leading zone and sector cadre came to Phnom Penh for regular meetings and special consultations with Pol and Nguyen. And there was also much written communication back and forth between the center and the zones. Footnote 65 then references Kai Pok interview. And you go on to say, uh, this is in fact, sorry, in, in footnote 14, which will be back on page 5. So it's Qui se trouve à la page 5. It's inserting here also footnote 14 to give context to Je the Kai Pok interview. And so you say, in an interview with the author, brackets, header, on the 22nd of February 2001, in Siem Reap, Cambodia, Pok agreed to discuss evidence against himself and others on the condition that his remarks not be made public while he was alive. And then in terms of what he said, he conceded that as Secretary of the CPK North, brackets, later Central, close brackets, Zone Committee, he had implemented a CPK policy of killing Khmer Republic officials, initiated the arrest, 
and ordered the execution of alleged traitors among CPK members subordinated to him and followed orders from Nguyen to assist in the arrest of other alleged traitors in the CPK ranks who he knew would be executed after interrogation by the CPK Security Service Headquarters, S21 in Phnom Penh. Hox admissions with regard to initiating arrests were corroborated in an interview by the author with the former third-ranked member of the North Zone Committee, uh, Pich Jing, uh, alias Pao, on the 14th to 15th of uh, May 2001 in Aung Lung Ven, Cambodia. My first question is, Ma première question. is what you've stated an accurate reflection donc, of what Kai Polk told you in the interview you had with him? Yes. Réponse, oui. Little bit more context, Kai Polk, Secretary of the CPK, North Later Central Zone Committee. A little bit more information, but not a life history. Merci de nous donner un petit peu plus d'informations sans nous raconter sa vie. Yes, he was um, from around May 75, Secretary of the North Zone, later redesignated the Central Zone, a member of the Central Committee, um, through the end of the period of Khmer Rouge rule, fell somewhat out of favor with the top leadership after January 1979 and eventually placed into a form of semi-retirement, broke away from the Khmer Rouge in the late 90s, I think it was 98, um, and was made a general officer in the government army. Officier and de this particular interview was, in fact, arranged for Cette me by uh, General Paul Saroun, who is currently Saroun, uh, Commander in Chief, Supreme Commander of the Cambodian Armed Forces. Cambodian. Mr. President, subject to a direction or an application from the court, um, well, can I ask Mr. Head of the question, is the interview you had with Kai Pork recorded in any way? Handwritten notes only, no, no tape recording. Where are the handwritten notes and could they be sent here today or over the weekend? I don't have them with me. They're somewhere in the UK, I suppose. If on the direction, if it was given by the President, that you would be given any available resources here to assist in obtaining that, would it be possible? possible? Um, the answer to that question is there is 45 filing cabinets scattered around various places in and around London. I don't know which filing cabinet they're in. Um, uh, it wouldn't be easy. It would take time. À différents endroits à Londres, j'ignore right, dans quel meuble se trouvent ces documents. Ce serait difficile et il faudrait du temps.
The second interview that you mentioned, in other words, to use your phrase, Hobbes' admissions with regard to initiating arrests were corroborated in an interview with Pic Tien alias Pao. How was that interview organized and how was it recorded? Um, uh, this this person was after January 1979 was Democratic Campuchia ambassador to China, um, and I met him in Beijing in late 1978. So he and I were acquainted. Um, in 2001, I approached him directly, um, him, and his, him and his wife directly in Longvang, and he agreed to, to speak to me. Um, again, no tape recording, only handwritten notes in the same situation, I'm afraid, as with those of the interview of Capo. And for completeness, one of the other sources that you gave in the footnotes was uh, the minutes of a forum of the meeting on grassroots work, 8th of March 1976. We're well familiar with this document, East 3, stroke 232. Still in the document reassessing, page 13, please, and it's in reference to footnotes 68 and 69. Uh, zone secretaries provided information to the centre about the situation in their areas of responsibility, demonstrating that the zones were keeping track of all activities right down to the district level and assessing the zone's right and wrong experiences in implementation of party policies. And in support of that, there is reference to two telegrams they are on our file E3-952 and E3-871. Now, Mr. Header, with telegrams as a body of information, the President, uh, Mr. Co Prosecutor, could you please uh, repeat the ERN or the identification of the document again to be properly recorded? Yes, forgive me, Mr. President. I I'm going to give a little bit more detail. E3-952, Telegram 94, that was from POC to Pol, the 2nd of April 1976, and E3-8. 871, which is Telegram 21 of the 21st of March 1976. The book is E190.3. E Sorry, I'll start again. E190.1.398. It's on the subject of telegrams. Now, can you help us as to when you first got to see, if we call it broadly, CPK telegrams that relate to the DK period? Late 1990s at DC CAM. Fin des années 90 au DC CAM. Thank you. On the same book, E190.1.398, it relates to footnote 70. According to the party statutes, zone party committees were to lead and implement policy down to the district level and below. And your sources are E3-214, the statutes. You refer to Article 19, your translation. As Paul explained it, 
All problems were up to the party in each locality, but leading cadres of higher echelons must also involve themselves in local work, with zone cadres helping district cadres to direct it. You then refer to our district. document E3-135, which is a report in the revolutionary flags of Ju June 1976, and E3-8, which was a collection of documents authored documents uh, Ben Kiernan and Chandler Pol Pot plans for the future. I have two questions here. This is about policy going down to the district level and below. From the interviews and direct contact you had with interviewees, did you gather any information that this, in fact, had happened? The President, uh, le Mr. Hedda, could you please hold on and Council Coppe, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, President. The prosecutor is getting craftier and craftier in formulating the questions in such a way that it is a question pour uh, in strict questions. terms to a witness. Um, but um, lift the veil of the question, and it is obviously Mais a question to the opinion si uh, of this witness. Um, um, we can all pretend today, uh, as we have, did, as we have done yesterday, de la that these are questions to a witness, but uh, hier, we can all see that this question is question nothing is uh, less than a question en fait, soliciting the opinion um, de of an expert. La vie uh, expert. Well crafted uh, as it is, but that's in fact what we are doing today, Mr. President. That's, that's why I object. Well, I, I thank Mr. Coppe for his compliment on my crafting. Merci à Coppe dit que it's not rusé. opinion to say Je to somebody pas on avis, the interview you had with a person face to face personne, that you were directly involved in, did you obtain est, factual information about this obtenu subject? Des informations factuelles sur ce thème au cours I'm not asking for his opinion. Tête tête. Je ne pas de cette I'm personne. not asking him to speculate. Je ne lui pas de speculer. I'm asking him, as I have, I think, on probably half a dozen occasions already, without objection, Comme je fait au moins cinq fois sans to say, from the interviews you had, not what people told you, une question, not speculating, not giving an opinion, savoir, can you sans help spéculer, sans donner un avis, pouvez -vous aider this la cour sur la base de ce que it's vous ont dit les gens au cours des interviews. C'est une question this, posée this à present, un témoin et par un expert, briefly, je voudrais poursuivre. Maître Coppe, j'aimerais brièvement répondre. If we were to si M. Eder était traité vraiment comme un témoin, on lui demanderait ce que l'autre personne lui a dit. Point final. Now we're, what we're doing is Maintenant, sort of Asking him to summarize the things that have been told by him or that he has read in documents, and then dit, ou ce a lu um, dans des uh, invite him to give an answer. That is exactly on lui demande ensuite uh, une réponse. what we are doing when we are asking an expert. So exactement ce qu'on fait. We, we can all expert. pretend, like I said, that we are not doing it, but we are doing it. On ne le fait pas, comme je l'ai dit, mais en réalité, on le fait. Mr. President, my question was. Monsieur le Président. Voici ma question. From the interviews Sur la base des and direct contact you had with interviewees, que vous avez did you gather any information que vous avez that this des had happened? Montrant que cela I wasn't asking passé. about documents. Je pas posé de sur les documents. And I did that for a deliberate reason. Je fait de interviews. Délibérée. Direct Il interviews not comment on documents. My questions about documents 
have been to authenticate or to explain the footnotes, not to give opinion about documents. My question was about interviews. The President, Le President, the objection by counsel for Mr. Nunti regarding the line of questioning by the co-prosecutor is not appropriate and not sustained. Uh, the Elle est donc witness, uh, Mr. Heda, you may now Eder, respond to the question if you still question recollect si uh, vous vous en the question being asked. You confirmed an extract according to the party statutes, zone party committees were to lead and implement policy down to the district level and below. From the interviews you had and direct contact you had with interviewees, did you gather any information that this had happened? From the, réponse. the interviews, and indeed Sur la base des interviews, summarizing in a sense, um, I think the most résumer, precise answer to je that question que la la plus is that à cette question yes, est la the suivante. interviews generally oui, généralement, describe dans les interviews, the formal policy as being what is laid comme étant tel qu'elle est énoncée ici um, from the documentation but at the same time the interviews dans les documents mais en même temps often indicate that les interviews that formal les gens disent souvent que la politique officielle et les structures officielles ne fonctionnaient pas comme elles étaient censées fonctionner sur papier so yes and no. donc c'est à la fois oui et non thank you question Still within the same document, which is E190.1.398. Moving on to footnotes 71 and 72. It was up to the zone leadership to grasp the line of the party centre and ensure that districts and other localities followed it, which meant zone secretaries had the power to give instructions to all sectors and districts. And in respect of that, you refer to our document E3-8, which was a Pol Pot document preliminary explanation before reading the plan by the party centre, 21st August 1976, and Telegram 15 with respect to beloved brother uh, Pol Pot. Um, can you confirm that those were the sources to support that statement in the book? Quelles sont les sources sur lesquelles vous vous appuyez? Yes. Est-ce que vous confirmez ces sources? Réponse. Footnotes oui. 73 and 74. Note de bas de page 73 et 74. Same document E190.1.398. In exercise of this authority, zone secretaries and other leading zone cadre convened frequent meetings of cadre down to the district level, regularly sent written communications to district and other local levels. Now, in respect of that, footnote 73 states, at such meetings, 
zone cadre reviewed district's past work and did forward planning, passing on the line from the centre, explaining party policies and urging their implementation, giving their own instructions and sorting out specific problems. And here again, you refer to the Kai Pog interview. Is that the same interview that you've already discussed? Yes. And there's another document. I'll read it in. It's not, it's not on our case file. It's 1.6. Commander of the Standing Committee of Zone 203 sends to sector, district, sub-district level party leaders, 26th of November 1975, and also 1.64. Sector 23 sends to district, districts and sector military headquarters, and the date of that document is the 22nd of October 1975. In brackets, after each of those documents, there are the letters B, D, N. Now, excuse me if you've already referred to B, D, N, but what is B, D, N in terms of these sources? Um, it's a, to my understanding, it's a cataloging number from the Vietnamese archives. And how did you have access to this information to be able to rely on it in the book? Um, that's explained in, an, in another footnote. Um, which is, I saw a second ago, it's in, it's in, the, it's in the text, in instant, it's in the text. That's in the folder. Um, dans le but basically the story is that en I gros, was given a set of Vietnamese language documents reçu des documents en Vietnamien and Vietnamese, Vietnamese language indexes et des two documents by en Vietnamien, faisant référence à des documents, y compris Vietnamese, un spécialiste and mainland Southeast Asian historical relations. des relations entre um, and le Vietnam, le Cambodge et autres pays d'Asie du Sud-Est, documents that he and a fellow scholar lui-même uh, et un autre spécialiste avaient obtenu ces documents tout en faisant so des recherches sur le Vietnam. Of, Il y avait donc deux there types de documents. Full Vietnamese translations of what were said des to be traductions vietnamiennes possession. And then there was de documents also an index que possédaient les Vietnamiens et aussi in Vietnamese of des index en vietnamien faisant référence à d'autres documents possession. qui étaient um, en possession des Vietnamiens. Ces documents me, ont ensuite été traduits uh, pour moi index Arant, et indexés par Richard Arant qui travaillait auparavant ici. I think there may be reference to Richard Arant later. Question. We'll Peut-être qu'on va reparler you. de Richard Arant. Nous verrons. Same document, footnote 78. Note 78. This is E190.1.398. Uh, sectors also sent documentary guidance to districts. Les secteurs envoyaient également um, des instructions each of the footnotes again refers to a number Ici, of documents. So I'll nouveau, just shorthand them 1.55, 1.6. 1.64, 1.50, and again BDN, and you've now just described that collection. Can you confirm that it's the same collection we've just covered? et BDN. Est-ce que vous confirmez qu'il s'agit de la même chose? Yes, it's the same set of Vietnamese language documents. Ce sont les mêmes documents. I'd like to move now to a separate topic. Question. Je passe à autre chose. It's going to help you to have file two available. Le and the topic is enemies. Le thème, ce sont les enemies. Can you?
The president, the court officer, uh, you may approach the witness if he needs uh, help. Okay, so it's fine now. So co prosecutor, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. File two, tab one. Document number E31714. Can you please go to page 66? Page 66. English RN 00170757. Khmer 00324747. Through seven seven à 77. and French zero zero six four nine zero one nine through two zero. It's at the bottom of page 66 for you, Mr. Header. And there's reference to number 33. March the 16th, so 1980. My route location. Source, ex-soldier from Ong Snul area. If we move on to the next page, I've already given the ERNs. This statement from this person. In 1972, there were lots of Lon Nol soldiers captured, about 500 of them. All were executed. None été were forgiven. Été Can you confirm épargné. that that's an accurate recording of what you were told in this interview? Que la personne vous a relaté cela. Yes. Réponse. Oui. When we say soldier, question. Quand on parle de soldat. The, the reference just says ex-soldier from Ong Snul area. But I wonder is, uh, he was, um, we, we know, uh, if I can take you to page 67, ERN's already given. There's a reference to, as a former Lon Nol soldier, he was kept careful track of. And towards the bottom of the page, as a formal non, former non-law soldier, I was under watch by Norcorban. It would keep track of my movements and listen to what I said. Is that correct? Yes, and the distinction oui. here is that in Khmer Rouge parlance, Dans the word soldier was normally Rouge, used to général, refer to soldat, Khmer Republic military personnel, refer to their own military personnel Khmer. as combatants. Quand ils parlaient de leurs propres forces, forces armées, ils parlaient de combatants. Um, the same collection, so we're still in E3 slash 1714, page 43. Do you have interview number 23, interview page 43? Interview number 23, March the 10th, interview 1980, location Sakao, source source um, Samang um Samang from Tambon 21, Tambon Eastern region. region de and he says in the second paragraph, paragraph sorry, I should give the ERNs, English ERN 0017034, 00324742423, and French 00648998-9 for the first two pages. But in the second paragraph, Um Samang, during the war period, I was in the military 
in the regional troops right from 1970. Can I take you to your page 46? English RN 001707 French 0064900-01 Khmer 0032-4746 The people were perplexed and afraid. They could not understand how all the cadres throughout the country could be traitors. It was not only the big cadres who were arrested, but whole strings of cadres, all the way down to the lowest level. The people knew that something was terribly wrong, but they were afraid to do anything for fear of being arrested themselves. The method of arrest is always to call someone in for study sessions. If people refuse to come, they were told that it is their duty to attend the sessions. People were not arrested in their bases of power, but at the centre, where the person to be arrested is the regional committee secretary or military secretary. He is called to a place to study and arrested. The same method was used against Lon Nol officers in 1975. They were asked to go to meet the organization voluntarily and offered forgiveness but then just taken away and executed. There was special security unit attached to the Central Committee, which was responsible for all this. At the central level, regular forces in Phnom Penh simply turned people over to the security unit. But in fact, the specialized security unit existed on all levels, from the central committee down through the regions, the tambons and districts. Each was responsible for security and thus for execution at its own level. Can you confirm that that is what you were told in this interview. Yes. Same body uh, of information, so E3-1714. Mr. Hedder, you need to turn to page 25. Do you have interview number 15? Interview numéro 15. 7th of March 1980. Sakao, English ERN 00170716. Khmer 00324712. French 00648981. The source former courier for Che Suen, also known as Non Suen. Can you can play, uh, please explain to the court again, just very briefly, who Non Suen was? Um, a veteran communist from the late 40s or early 50s, who after April 1975 was the chairman of the Agriculture Committee at the center level, uh, the equivalent of the Minister of Agriculture. Thank you. Your page 28, English ERN 00170719.
Khmer, 00 32 French, 00 In Tambon 25, we were told to prepare for evacuees from Phnom Penh only on the 18th of April 1975. We were instructed to prepare food, water and lodging for the evacuees to slaughter animals, to feed them and give them co-op rice. Each district was assigned a quota of a number of, of evacuees they should accept. We were told that their presence would be temporary. We were told that if the evacuees caused the burden in the co-ops, they should go to the KUM or district committees to ask for surplus to solve the problem. Among those evacuees, the former Lon Nol soldiers, especially the officers, were considered were to be considered enemies. Is that an accurate record of what you were told in this interview? Yes, and in conjunction with what's in the remainder of the paragraph. Oui, en plus du reste du paragraphe. Same folder. Question. Tab 6, document number E3-390-1975, I don't want to give the name for the moment because I, uh, it's for being checked, but this interview E3-390. Zero. Can you just confirm that on the front page, interviewer Steve Hedder? Que vous êtes l'intervieweur, comme indiqué à la première page. I'm just checking to see whether there might be a mistake in the attribution of the name of the interviewee. So if you give me a couple of minutes. Quant à l'attribution du nom des personnes interrogées. The President. Thank you, Mr. Hedda and uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Since it is now an appropriate moment for the adjournment, the Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 10 to 11. Court officer is now directed to assist uh, Mr. Hedda during the adjournment and have him return to the courtroom when the next session resumes le reconduire ici au prétoire pour la reprise des audiences. And uh, please have uh, ask him to also uh, examine the documents and we believe that he may take the, the disadvantage of this uh, journey to review the documents. Merci.